I'm Dr. Laura Murillo, President of the Houston Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. I'm so happy to welcome our 2023 chairman. He also happens to be the Texas Market President for Fifth Third. He's going to talk to us a little bit about that, his involvement with the chamber, and all the great things that Fifth Third is doing in this city. Please welcome Scott Silvas. He is the Texas Market President. Thanks, Scott. Thank you, Lauda. Delighted to be here uh, as a sponsor in my role as a Texas market president for Fifth Third Bank, uh, also in my privileged role as chair of the board of the Hispanic Chamber, and also as a 20-year member and participant in the chamber as a whole. Delighted to be here. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. It has been fantastic to see your career trajectory and for you to be leading Fifth Third is a great honor, and uh, we're so proud of you and the team. And speaking of, I can't believe it, one quarter down. What are you seeing? What are you hearing? Yes, I, you know, I really think um, just the simple turn of the year into 2024 was a very welcomed uh, transition for business owners, uh, the, the business community. 2023, once again, just had some challenges, certainly with the, the banking crisis and SBB bank fallout. Uh, obviously, everyone's still adapting to a much higher interest rate environment, higher than we've been in the last 20 years. Um, and just the volatility that the market saw last year. Um, turning into 2024 in the first quarter, I think quickly saw a really strong rebound, uh, increased level of M&A activity, growing optimism in terms of rates holding steady and very likely to decline this year. Yeah. I think really purely less volatility means more confidence. Uh, so we are seeing and, and we're operating in Texas. A lot of the business owners we work with are here based in Houston or large part of their operations are in Texas. And we still have continued to see a tremendous amount of uh, population growth in migration, uh, investment of business owners. So really a lot more optimism. Um, yeah. We're not necessarily clearly out of the woods. There's some uncertainty. It's an election year. But to compare and contrast to last year, the first quarter was absolutely a, a great start to the year in 2024. So part of your role as a banker, as a bank and whole, is to help position and prepare your clients for the environment. What is coming, what is trending, what to look forward to. Give us some thoughts and what you're saying to your clients currently. Sure. Uh, and I would, again, acknowledge that last year was a tough time for banks. Um, you saw a lot of banks having to quickly um, provide confidence to their clients in terms of their capital position, their liquidity, what's the makeup of their deposits? Could there be a potential flight on the bank that we were, no one was expecting to see with some very large banks last year? So the better part of last year, I think a lot of banks were internally focused, making sure clients were OK and trying to provide some assurances. That said, I think it put a strain on certain relationships. And so I, I think for us at Fifth Third, we're really proud and happy to point to 165 years of existence, strong and stable and steady bank. And uh, if you really look at uh, performance, uh, Fifth Third Bank outperformed the peer group in terms of just deposit growth, um, ability to grow in the attractive markets, new client acquisition. And really, our Texas team and our Houston team were a big part of that contribution. So Still at the forefront is how strong is the relationship with your banking partner? How prepared are they to support you now that your business owners are optimistic and ready to invest and grow and expand? Do they have the confidence that they've got the right banking partner to support them? That's still the beginning of a lot of our conversations. And fortunately, the bank um, continues to stand behind our clients. We're very active with M&A financing, real estate financing, working with business owners to provide automation in their treasury and account function with how they collect and how they make payments, uh, strategic capital advice in terms of uh, advising on what's their acquisition strategy. Might they be thinking about even exploring a different alternative with their business and maybe even selling their business? Um, so our, our, a bank of our size, we really are focusing on the client first. What condition are they in? How do they see this year? And then after that, we are able to pair a lot of resources and, and subject matter experts to really support them. And we also know everybody's keeping up with the Fed. What's going to happen next? We're looking for clues. I was just at one of their big meetings recently, a couple of weeks ago, and everyone's optimistic, hoping fourth quarter's a time when these interest rates will drop 
And certainly in the interim, business as usual, right? I mean, people are out there buying, selling, but I do think what it does is it opens the door for people, especially entrepreneurs that are looking for other opportunities or even talking to banks that are not their normal, regular go-to, right? They're shopping much more. Absolutely. Um, I, I think they recognize when there's an opportunity, they have to strike and strike fast. And if they don't have the confidence that their banking partner can move at the pace that they need them to and, and really provide them the options and give them the support, they're going to have to find that somewhere else. Um, and that's going to happen. Uh, I, I do think th the fact that the outlook is that rates will be reduced. Um, it is very likely to have a rate reduction sometime this year. Uh, it keeps getting pushed back. And, and now here we are getting into the second quarter, the notion that maybe, you know, might not be until the end of the year and maybe rates don't even get reduced at all this year is really um, a, a, a high potential. Uh, I think there's going to be less likelihood to do any type of rate reduction as we get close to the election. The data right now still suggests that um, inflation remains high. The job um, job market is really strong. So I think business owners are, are recognizing they've got to make those decisions and decisions now and, and really make sure they've got the right banking partner to support them. Well, we thank you for your investment in the Houston Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, your ongoing support and everything that you and your team have done to make sure that our annual luncheon was a success and so many other things that we do, Scott. So th thanks a lot and we'll see you real soon. Thank you as well. My name is Bob Marcus and I run the Capital Markets Division at Fifth Third Bank. We're part of a one bank team, which means we spend time understanding the client, their needs and creating solutions to meet those needs. It's not about a transaction, it's not about a product, it's about what's best for the client over a longer period of time. At Fifth Third Bank, we use our expertise and innovation to create solutions that help businesses run better. This is banking, a fifth third better.